Bitch, get your mind right. Let me talk to him. What's cracking? What's cracking? That's the people's champ. The Marquise and this motherfucker oh, oh. live for the moment. Team 18 Wheelers. Now, we leave in Vegas right now. Yes, we on the road. Mack Truck making a video on the road because we made a few stops to eat and gas up. And now we is in traffic. So much traffic. But it's worth it because to come out to the Olympia to watch the Blade Dexter Jackson compete at the age of 50 years young is, is, is a sight to see. Now, I was five rows from the stage, me and this guy, right along with the family. Um, now, from the pictures that they were posting on Dexter, clearly they post the most bullshittest pictures. They find the most raggediest pictures as possible every time the post of them. And keep in mind, I'm not saying this because I'm being biased. Y'all know that I always give it to you gun barrel straight. Now, I'm watching the show. The fucking first call out, two of them didn't belong up there. Now, y'all know, like I say, I give it to you gun barrel straight. From the lineup, what I've seen, Dexter should have at least been in fifth place. He's supposed to be in that top five call up. I'm going to tell you why. Well, Rami, he got his ass moved down, but last night, Rami came out big as shit, a whole bunch of oil in them fucking shoulders, was just fading away, like right between each pose. Only pose that he had that was decent was his side chest, and that was only because his glutes were shredded, and you could see the hamstring and quad tie in from the side. Now, from the rear, faded away. Okay, that was Rami. He did not deserve to be up there whatsoever. Then you had William, William Boak. On the first night, William was fading away. Like a motherfucker. He had no business to be up there. So right then and there while they was doing comparison, if they didn't want to be on some bias bullshit, they would have put Dexter out there right along with Sean Roden, Phil Heat, um, well, even Roly, he didn't look look good. He was fading away on the first night too. His legs lost lines. He was fading away too. So Roly would have been out the way. So that would have put Dexter at fourth place. Now, um, Brandon Curry, Dexter Jackson, Phil Heath, Sean Roden. That's who should have been in that first call out. In my eyes. Oh, it must be an accident. Damn, when we came, it was a fucking truck on fire. Yeah. Fucking 18 wheeler was on fire. Damn. Was that a sign that we was coming to wreck shit on the way to Vegas? Anyway, um, Dexter was supposed to be in that first call out. The pictures that they posted Dexter was the most raggliest pictures as possible. Now, y'all could go on Dexter Jackson page. Go on his page, and you will see the exact pictures from the first night. A prejudging, you will see the exact pictures that an unbiased photographer had got, and you will see that his legs was shredded. His conditioning was probably the best conditioning between Sean Roden and Dexter Jackson. I would say had the best conditioning inside that whole arena. And keep in mind, I'm not saying this because I'm biased. I'm not saying this because I like aesthetics. I'm not saying this because I'm just trying to be a dick. I'm saying this because I'm speaking facts. Now, once you go on this page and you guys see the rear, how shredded his glutes was when he did that fucking rear double and his hamstring tie ends, you can be like, damn. And then when you see his front double and you see how deep the lines were in his legs, you'll be like, yeah, okay, they did judge it wrong. You know, I don't, yeah, you heard it in the crowd. You heard the audience. You heard the audience. Man, he got a standing fucking know, ovation, dude. Letting everybody know. When he walked out. Her, look damn good yeah yeah so um come finals when i tell you dexter looked totally different he looked phenomenal finals that's what moved him up in the points but i didn't move him up in position now 
I was like, I went to the back in the pump up room. Yes, my truck went to the back of the pump up room. I was all over that motherfucker. Everybody that knows Mac Truck and seen Mac Truck know that Mac Truck presence be felt and be respected because I come with a lot of respect. So I was in the back pump up room and I said, Dex, I don't know what the fuck you did, but you was off the chain tonight. He said, little brother, I'm going to tell you exactly what I did, little bro. I said, what? He said, man, I was eating pizza and shit like that. I said, oh, <laughs> God damn. I fell out laughing. I said, now this is crazy. This motherfucker, I know y'all can hear my voice is hoarse. I was screaming like a motherfucking prostitute running from her pimp. You know what I'm saying? So my voice is gone. You know, between me and, and Dak's family and his wife, oh my God, let me tell you. We had the motherfucker going crazy. His kids and shit, we had them going crazy. And, you know, we was ready for the bullshit. <laughs> so, to be honest, Sean Flexitron wrote and did deserve that win. Phil Heath, I think he would never, ever win again. He's done. That midsection can't get right. But the thing is, it wasn't the midsection that really killed him. When you're supposed to be the seven-time Mr. Olympia, the champion, and you lose a front double, you might as well just say it's over right there. And in the press conference... Sean Roden told him he was going to kill him in the front double. He was going to kill him in the side tricep, the side chest. Sean Roden delivered with what he said, so he deserved to win. So um, the crowd was excited for him. Phil was probably on fucking suicide watch or some shit. Like, he was, um, he was just out of it, you know, but... Phil did not look like Phil he, that we all used to see back in 2011. We haven't seen that Phil Heath since 2011, let's be honest. But for some apparent reason, the judges got that part right when it pertained Roden because, like I said, Sean Roden and Dexter Jackson had the best conditioning up inside that motherfucking arena. And they judged that motherfucker poorly with the first call out by not putting Dexter Jackson up in there. But look at the bright side. Here it is. We have a man, 50 years young, still a top 10, top fucking competitor. Still making everybody work. Man, kicking ass and taking that, man, he giving them hell. I know them dudes got to hate when they see this motherfucker come. I'll be like, Dex. You like a fucking cockroach, dude. They just can't get rid of your ass. Can't get rid of them. They can't get rid of them. You know what I'm saying? And Dex, he making he making it bad for a lot of people because he giving these old motherfuckers hard, hard and confidence chance. like they got a chance. And then that's when you get the Kevin LeBrons jumping out there with swimmer legs and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Dex is clearly... You know, putting a whole lot of pressure in this business. And I like that it's going back to aesthetics. You know what I'm saying? You got Breon and, and Classic Bodybuilding with aesthetics going against them big old giants. The judges is getting back to the beauty of bodybuilding on why I fell in love with bodybuilding. You see what I'm saying? Because, like I said a long time ago, in numerous videos before me and Dexter was even as tight as we are. Well, I always say that he was the best bodybuilder in the world. And this when this motherfucker was probably like in his mid-40s. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I always been a fucking Dexter Jackson supporter, fan from the gate. Always. You know, even though I'm a wild motherfucker, I do a whole lot of Spontaneous, craziest shit or whatever. You ain't they say you ain't normal. They say ain't normal. <laughs> they say <you> ain't normal. <laughs> yeah, but I, at the end of the day, I'm calling the spade a spade, and them motherfuckers will continue busting their ass every time they see the blade walk through that building. Every last one of them pay homage to Dexter. They give Dexter a lot of respect, but I know every time he walked by, they'd be like, this motherfucker showed his old ass up in here again. 
What the fuck? And guess what? You gotta work. You gotta work, motherfucker. They ain't gonna get no motherfucking easy win long as that motherfucker up in there. I could guarantee you that. And like every year, motherfucker be like, when is Dexter Jackson gonna retire? When is Dexter Jackson gonna retire? And he always say the same shit, oh, probably next year. <laughs> the only way that motherfucker gonna retire, he gonna have to really be disgusted in the sport. And I don't see that happening. Because he too fucking vulgar, too outspoken. So whenever he get disgusted, pissed off, he speaks on it. But guess what? I'm the voice for the motherfucking bullshit now. Like I tell him, dude, don't even worry about it. Let me, my platform is already fucking created on bullshit. Let me go on here and, and do that work. Like let me what? Do that work. Let, 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 let you take care of the dirty work. You know what I'm let saying? Clean. Yeah, like. His 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 platform, his image, and all that. He was already fucking the bad boy in this business and shit. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't they couldn't stomach his personality and how strong minded he is. So you know, I don't know. Maybe the judges did that bullshit. I'm like, who the fuck? He pissed off. But oh well, they still seen his motherfucking ass in the top ten. Like I told y'all, I will be talking shit and I'm talking shit like we ain't got the win because guess what? We still got the win, still place top 10. Now, over some young motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? That he's old enough to be their daddies. Yeah, it's that serious. Anyway, this is just the first video. Y'all gonna be hearing a whole lot more from my black ass. I'm on this goddamn 15 in the traffic. Like five, six more. Nah, it ain't that mm -hmm. damn long. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope y'all enjoy this shit. We'll holla at y'all later. It's the People's Champ Marquise in the car giving it to you, gun barrel straight. I'm so motherfucking horse, I can't even hit the gun right. Jesus Christ. You sound like a little BB gun. Man, I got a cap gun. I got a gun with no bullets in it. You need Chloe. Yeah, glow bug need to come get with that. All right, we'll spell you motherfuckers later. Suck it easy, because it ain't going to suck itself. <laughs>